welcome, my name is Fi, and today we are going to take a look at a bug fix for the Shulker Box storage system. Uh, so today someone brought to my attention a very big bug uh, in the machine, and I'm going to show you what the bug is, and I'm going to show you how to actually patch it out. So uh, the bug occurs when you are using the stop mode, so when the light is on. This is when uh, the machine stops, when it finds the first box with your item. So if I were to search for uh, sticky pistons, uh, it would stop right away because the first box is a sticky piston. Um, but it's a very specific uh, case when this happens, because it's when uh, the fourth to last uh, box that gets searched is the one that you're looking for. So uh, the last four are sunflowers here. So I'm going to search for sunflowers now. And because the fourth to last box is a sunflower box, it will break the machine. You can actually see it very clearly here. So this observer is going to go back and forth a couple times. And there you go. And this block should actually be um, outwards right now. So this torch is now unlit and it will let all these items through and these items will get stuck here and it's just a whole mess. Um, some of the items don't get, uh, don't go back the way they are supposed to and it's just, yeah, it's just a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to fix this. Alright, so to fix this issue we're gonna come around to this side of the machine and I'm first going to recommend you break this sticky piston and this observer. Then take out all of your remaining shulker boxes. You will hear the arrow noise. Then we are going to go ahead and break this. And uh, as there's no more items in here, we can safely break this. Now we're going to reroute this a little bit. So we're going to go up. And we're going to use some slabs so the sticky piston doesn't get triggered. And we're going to go uh, up like that and into a block right there. And then just run some redstone down just like that. And it should light up so this uh, hopper back there uh, gets powered again. Now we're going to come down here. Um, I'm going to do this block sticky piston just like that. Then an observer facing downwards into a block. Actually, uh, let's see some redstone right there. Uh, right click the redstone so it doesn't point outwards anymore. Uh, that's to prevent it from powering this hopper. Doesn't really matter, but it's just good practice. Same goes for uh, this redstone after we block this off. Right click it and then have a block like that and a repeater like that. And I think that should fix it. So let's give her a test run. Use all these chests and we're gonna say we're gonna look for redstone. Here we go. And now instead of uh, this sticky piston powering to reset it, so it grabs the observer and pushes it back that way. We actually power this piston to push it that in that direction. And if that happens uh, before any items get, get found, um, it will just push this one a couple times and that doesn't really matter. If you want, you can actually replace this sticky piston with a normal piston now, because we don't have to pull it anymore. And that's about it for this fix. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was useful and I guess I will see you next time. Oh, I have one more thing I'd like to tell you about. So I've been working on the shulker box uh, loader right here and it's nearly finished. I think it's, I don't think I'm going to get it any more compact than it is right now. And uh, right now I have this way to... Uh, add your items to the systems, so you're gonna throw your items upwards like that. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it. If you guys have any suggestions 
on how to uh, deliver the items to the loader in a better or different way uh, please tell me or if you think this is fine tell me that that it's fine and I will just make a video on the way it is right now alright thanks for watching and I'll see you next time